a wild ass is any one of several species native to Asia, Africa, one of which is believed to be the ancestor, one of the ancestors of today's domesticated donkeys. I could talk about the domestication of the donkey as well as the other wild ass species, but today I want to talk about some particular ones. For context, I might as well get us started on what this particular species is, the onager. Onagers are a notoriously untamable species of wild ass that typically lives in Asia but had a wider range. Specifically, the onager formerly had a much wider range from southwest and central northern Asian countries as far north as Siberia and Russia as well as the Middle East. However, its range has shrunk and one Middle Eastern subspecies has gone extinct. As such, it's primarily known as an Asian species. However, it once had a much wider range even into Europe. Today, we will go over those. Hadrantines, or the European wild ass, was a type of wild ass native to Europe during the Pleistocene and apparently preferred steppe environments as well as is populated by other known herbivores of the time. It is known for many fossil locations across Europe and apparently its teeth is what scientists originally thought separated from other wild ass. It was recognized as its own species for the longest time and it was often depicted as such. In art, it is often depicted as a sort of zebra-like or African wild ass-like creature with stripes. In 2017, however, a genetic study found that it was actually a subspecies of today's onager. This particular onager subspecies survived well into recent history, surviving as late as 500 BC, around the time of the classical Greeks and Romans. The Turkmenian Kulon, also called the Transcapian wild ass, Turkmenistani onager, simply the Kulon, is a subspecies native to Central Asia. This was the northernmost subspecies of onager, living from northernmost Iran and Afghanistan to western China to southern Siberia and to Kazakhstan. However, it also lived in Ukraine and other parts of Eastern Europe. Like the Hydrantine before, it also inhabited the Caucasus region, including European parts of the area. However, it was eventually driven out. However, a project is reintroducing them into these areas, marking the return of wild asses to Europe. Also, there is a claim that the first European subspecies actually survived even later in the Iberian Peninsula under the name of the Sebro or the Zebro, but that is a claim that will be discussed later in the next episode.